Okay, another soap. This one we're going with a little bit of the holiday theme. And I have kale and clay in there. I don't know if you can see the little bit of it clumped in there. And I have my milks, which is goat milk and buttermilk. And my scent blend, I'll explain that a little bit, in a little bit. I'm going to buzz these up. So my scent blend is a mixture of essential oils and a touch of fragrance oil. The majority is all uh, essential oils. I've got my little list here. So basically the fragrance is just a touch of evergreens. And the rest is eucalyptus, thyme, peppermint, rosemary, a touch of oak moss, and lavender essential oils. And that is it. So it'll have a little bit of a... A winter theme, holiday theme to it. Open the nose for sure. But I love the eucalyptus and bright scents like that too. And this is uh, lye and aloe vera juice. That'll be good enough because I'll be buzzing them up some more. And my colors are going to be very simple. We're just going with straight up gray and white. in there. So this picture is going to be for my gray. I think that's enough. I'm hoping that's enough. I don't know. Do a little more. Uh, yeah. That should do it. So I have some fairy dust mica I'm going to put in with my white. Along with some TD. My gray, depending on my gray, how it turns out, I might put some TD in that as well. And this gray is from Nurture Soap Supply. It's neutral gray mica from Nurture. of this it might be too dark keep 
Yeah. So I'm going to put in a little bit of TD in this one as well. And some of the fairy dust. Exactly what I'm going for. Just a very light gray. There's Pandora barking at something. She's barking at the garbage trucks. <laughs> garbage pickup today. All right. Now, I'm actually going to whisk in my set because I'm not sure what to expect with this. Smells really bright. Well, I think I can whiz them up a little bit by the looks of it. can't get all the air out from under my blender. Looking good. So I figured these colors would be suiting for the name Silver Bells. I usually have the name of the soap picked out before I make it. Only on occasion I'm stumped and I have to wait. I see what it turns out to be. All right. So, I'm going to put my sheet. There's a little. There we go. So, I want a 
little layer on the bottom. Or maybe a big layer. Now the problem is, how do I do this without going through? Yeah, I kind of stink at that part. It's going to all kinds of air in it. Well, sometimes if you just keep stirring your batter for a bit it'll help get some of the extra air out that's trapped in the batter. So far, I gotta say, the fragrance itself is tickety boo. So, how do I not get it through? It's still pretty fluid. I should have mixed it just a tad more. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. Maybe I should do it this way. I hope I didn't drag my spatula into it. That would so stink. And I didn't measure very well for what I had in my head. Oh, don't you hate that? Did not measure well at all. So now I got too much gray. Grr. I wasn't planning on doing two layers, but I don't want to do two layers. So now what do I do? Not the plan, Rachel. Not the plan. I know somebody out there is yelling at me, do this or do that, but I just can't hear you. Would be nice. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to pour this in. So be it. I wonder. No, I'll keep that for the top. I'm so indecisive. Try and do just a little swirl without breaking the bottom gray line. If that's actually possible. By the time you see this, I'm sure Hurricane Harvey will be over. That poor Texas is bearing down on the coast. You know, they transferred some babies that were in uh, ICU to some other hospitals. They flew them 
You know, living in Florida makes you very anxious. The anxiety level is always high when you hear hurricanes coming. And got to pray for those that are in the path. I just hope minor to nothing as far as people hurt. Things can be replaced, but not the people. So only hoping and praying that it goes as smooth as a hurricane can go. Bang this down a little bit. So now I'm going to... Hmm, this isn't very even. So I'll get this mixed up a little bit. Put this on top. said my plan kind of backfired it's kind of the same but not not quite if I wouldn't have mismeasured it would have been much better okay Rachel I'm having a hard time with my positioning today <laughs> ah. awkward See, I undermixed it too because I wasn't sure how this would behave. So it could have been a little thicker, but it's still working. I think it smells pretty. I don't do too many holiday soaps. There's nothing worse than being stuck with them. I always do my one that's available once a year, which is my sacred soap. And I always make that one. It's so beautiful, but very expensive to make because it's all uh, essential oils with frankincense and myrrh. So, just a special soap once a year. Alright. Now, gotta try and not, let's see how far down I can go, try and not go through. I'm gonna try and swirl this a little and not go through my base. I don't know, folks. Maybe it'll be a silver dented bell. <laughs> now, this would have been nice with little bells and stuff, but I just don't have time to do all those pretty little accents that a lot of you do. I just do not have it that time. I spend too much time sewing, so everything is precious time-wise. So, hmm going to try and give a little evenness around here with some colors because I have some glitter to put on there and some mica drizzle. So I just want to get these swirled about a little bit. So, do we start with the glitter or the drizzle? I think I'll do the drizzle. Do I have you in here? And this is the same gray mica I used in the gray. I just have it diluted in some oil. Here. 
I think you need a little bit more. Right there. 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 Did I get it all? I think so. All right, so that'll be the top there. I'll show you before the glitter goes on. So I have these little pretties. This one is a silver glitter from American Soap Supplies. Not pretty. And then this one is Intergalactic from Nurture Soaps. And I do have a little bit of my iridescent that I might use, depending how this goes. So I'll start first with a little bit of the silver. Because it's silver bells, you know. Come on now. So pretty. The air conditioner just kicked on, so it's blowing my glitter. Yeah, I just hope I have enough swirl in the center there. I don't know. I'm not going to get too excited about it. I don't know if this intergalactic, I think I might not use it. It's it's very, um, it's a lot of silver, but it's also got all the colors like of the rainbow in there. And I think that might take away from just the elegant look of the silver. So I'll just stick with the iridescent. I love using that one, but I don't get a chance to use it much. Well, at least the top's pretty. So I hope you join me for the cut, which will be attached to this in just a moment. Get as close as I can. Be right back. So even though this wasn't as planned when I made it, I had put too much gray I'm hoping it still turned out pretty. Now see, I was hoping for a much, let's say the gray would be about half, half the height there and more of a swirl. So I couldn't do much swirling because I didn't have much room. I did not want to, um, oh what do you call it, I didn't want to puncture the bottom of it. But I tell you, I've got a little, where is it, here it is, I've got a little sample, a little heart sample, and I just love how it smells, it smells so much like Christmas, but it's not like sickening strong either, it's, it's really nice. There's just enough evergreen in there to make it Christmassy, but not overpowering, the other essential oils kind of take over for that. Oh, it's beautiful. I think it's still pretty. So the top. So it's not a disappointment, just not exactly how I planned it. Just poor measuring on my part. I think Silver Bells is a perfect name for it. I've been making soap, so I've got a couple other videos to put up as well. 
And then I gotta get started on getting my my one Christmas theme soap made. Last year I fell so far behind. I still made it, but not in time for people to really order them for Christmas. But I made it and posted it anyway. They bought it even though it was late and the season passed. There's times I just wish there was more of me. Those of you who know me, I I do a lot of sewing. I make powder puffs. That's the main part of what I do. So that is very time consuming. So the soap has to come second. I really like how the swirl turned out. It's very dainty. I love how it smells. Really love it. it smells so good. And it would definitely be unisex set. And there it is. That's the last piece. I may even consider doing this one every year, too. I like it that much. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with another one soon. Bye-bye.